Welcome back to the most news in the morning. The 44th president comes to office with a big agenda, including a major economic stimulus package he wants to get through, major economic challenges, of course. And in his inaugural address, he promised an end of post-partisan politics. But some Republicans already see potential problems. Can the new commander-in-chief and GOP lawmakers really meet in the middle? Joining me now is Florida Republican Representative Ileana ross Layton, And thanks so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thank you, know, you so much. Of course, the reason there are, you know, the minority and the majority parties is because you guys are supposed to uh, butt heads in, in some ways. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot of latitude given by the GOP right now to let Barack Obama sort of settle in and, and see where he's going with things. But if you had to anticipate where uh, there may be a fight over some of these issues, where do you see that? Well, I think uh, this economic stimulus uh, package uh, uh, remains a, a big question mark for uh, most of us Republicans. We see that the job creation aspect of it is really down the line, and it's just a small part of this, uh, uh, just a, a wish list for uh, every administration uh, previously. Uh, it's a, a lot of borrowing, a lot of spending, and uh, most of our constituents are not really uh, on board with that program. We know that we can't borrow and spend our way back into prosperity. But uh, President Obama has reached out to us, much more than the House Democratic leadership, we look forward to meeting with him in the coming days. He's agreed to meet with us right. and uh, work out a plan. Unfortunately, the House Democratic leadership is ramming this bill through uh, with just a few hearings, and we will be uh, passing this or, or voting against it in just two weeks. That's $850 billion Yeah, I want to ask you about that, through. though, because um, you and, and some other lawmakers that we've talked to have said that they've had pushback from their constituents about uh, this stimulus package. But we have a CNN opinion research poll showing that there is support. 71% um, of people ask support the economic stimulus when tax cuts for individuals and businesses are also added into that package. Opposition then drops to about 28%. So it seems that the majority of people, at least that we polled, want it. Um, and I understand that the GOP talks about record deficits and the fact that we can't spend our way out of trouble. But can you explain what the alternative is, what, what viable alternative Absolutely. the GOP is offering? Absolutely. And we do have a, a plan that we are like to share with the House Democratic leadership. We will share with, with President Obama in, in the coming days. And that's a plan to grow our way into prosperity, to build those jobs. You know, a lot of the folks that you interviewed probably think that this plan is to build roads and bridges. Actually, that's uh, less than 6% uh, of this bill. But they heard that early on, and so it, it really stuck in their, in their mind. And uh, it really won't have those jobs. And, and when there is growth, it's growth in, in out years, not immediately. This is not a bill that's going to help our economy in a real way. And it's interesting that your poll showed that when you throw in tax cuts, which has always been the mantra of the Republicans, uh, then the support increases. Right, it so does increase. It's got very little of, uh, of the tax cuts, but they put it in there because they know it's a selling point, and most of it is really a huge debt that we're going to pass on to our children. All right, I and the ask Republicans you about have a plan, and uh, we would like to share it with the House Democratic leadership. We will share it with uh, President Obama. All right, and I want to ask you about uh, the situation with Guantanamo Bay as one of his first executive orders. He's going to close the military prison within a year. I know you oppose it. Uh, when we talk to people, it's about 50 50. 51 percent said yes, they'd like it closed. 47 percent said no. But the debate now is what to do with those de detainees. How do you think this should be handled? Well, that's, a, that's the exact question we need to be asking. The closing of Guantanamo opens up a whole set of complex uh, questions. What do we do with those detainees there, the worst of the worst, as they've been called, the folks who have been uh, threatening our nation's security? Do we free them when they threaten our nation, uh, national security? Do we entrust them to the custody of foreign governments who may be sending them back into the battlefield, endangering our troops. And what about uh, uh, new targets, new high-value targets? Right. If we get bin Laden tomorrow, what will happen? Or a year from now, when Gitmo is closed, Gitmo is more than just a physical structure. It's a set of process to keep our nation safe. And I think that we're putting the timeline before we have a process. So uh, I'm worried about uh, the outcome to our nation's security as a result of just trying to keep a campaign promise. Let's keep our nation safe. That's the number one priority of our commander in chief. All right, well, Congressman, if you do get a chance to talk to President Obama about all of this, don't hang up on him this time. It's really going to be I will not. Him. I'm ready for him. <laughs> Thanks for Thank joining you. us this morning.
It's uh, now the top of the hour, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Breaking news this morning. It's official.